Hey guys, I'm Brian Cornelius from The Lion and the Lamb, and today I want to talk to you about gig apps, uh, which ones I've used, and which ones I think are the best, and other ways to make side money on the side, because, you know, it's the pandemic and it's hard to make extra income, and I know a lot of people are struggling. So, some of the apps that I have been using, even myself, to make some extra money on the side, is Instacart, which is this app right here, and DoorDash, this app on the bottom right there. Now, I haven't used DoorDash in a while, but I've been doing a lot of Instacart shopping. I think Instacart's a lot better in DoorDash because they pay you out more per order, and there's actually a lot less driving involved. Um, you'll make $30, $40, $20, $15 at a time doing Instacart orders. They take a little longer to do because you're actually in a grocery store shopping. You're getting paid to do grocery shopping and deliver the groceries for someone. And it can be rewarding sometimes because sometimes... You'll deliver to someone that's in a wheelchair that maybe isn't able, able bodied, and you feel kind of like, oh, I, I did something good today. Um, or, you know, it's just sometimes, sometimes the regular people, they're very appreciative that you're doing their groceries, and they'll tip you very well. But, um, yeah, if we go online, we could go ahead and do this. And no bat batch is available right now, but of course, as you can see, it's almost midnight. Uh, yeah, I do these videos late at night because. I have a late time job, um, but uh, you see, I made fifty dollars this week, fifty dollars sixteen cents this week. Um, the app actually paid me like twenty nine dollars sixty eight cents, and I got twenty dollars forty eight cents. And I only did two orders doing this, and I got fifty dollars. And same thing, I think the last week, fifty seven, and let's see, and then the week before that, I made forty four. And then a couple of crazy weeks, I made two hundred and nine dollars and forty nine cents, one hundred and forty one dollars and ninety five cents. But of course, this company is going to give you a ten ninety nine if you make over five hundred dollars to six hundred dollars, and that means you're going to have to save a portion of your income uh, for taxes, about twenty twenty five to thirty um, percent. If you're not making like over twenty thousand. And I don't think you even have to pay quarterly taxes or anything like that. If you're doing it like full time, you would have to pay quarterly taxes. But if you're just doing it on the side, making less than twenty thousand dollars a year, and you're um, getting, you only have to pay less than a thousand dollars every year to the government, then you shouldn't have to worry about it. And um, you know, it's just a good way to supplement your income that way. But if you're doing it full time, it can be a little stressful with taxes. But I found a good bank account that you know, pulls out the tax money already for you, so you don't have to think about it. It already saves tax money, and it's designed for freelancers. It's um, called Lily, and here's the Lily app. Um, yeah, it looks like that, but you just pull it up, and yeah, it's just sign up for it, and um, Lily will automatically deduct the 20, 30 percent, whatever amount you want to, you're supposed to deduct from taxes, and it'll actually tell you how much of a duck you should be holding from your income from the freelance job. Actually, it's really nice, and honestly, to get Lily only takes like five, ten minutes set up. It's uh, better than Chime. I tried doing Chime. They won't don't they won't do that. It's a good you know it's a good bank account too. Um, both of these are not brick and mortar banks. They don't have an actual store or bank. Um, so that kind of sucks, but you know, they're withholding taxes for me, and it's a good way to put your side money in for taxes. And another way to make good money is um, Field Agent app. And the Field Agent app is kind of like that. You would go to grocery stores, and you'll see sometimes you buy and try. So. Michelob Ultra beer, yeah, you can buy, you can get money by buying beer, and guess what? They'll compensate you as well. Let's check it out. Um, so this job specifically for grocery purchase from Walmart.com, thirty dollar minimum. So you will have to pay a thirty dollar minimum, but you will get reimbursed for the full amount of the Michelob Ultra beer from this online purchase, and you'll also make six dollars. But since I don't really grocery shop from Walmart.com online, but if you did, there's some free beer and six bucks. And I tried it before. Yeah, they will reimburse you. I bought a doll for my daughter, got reimbursed, and got four dollars to 
fill out a survey about the doll. And also reading some reviews. Um, I know something about potassium supplements. I don't even know how you're supposed to audit that. And then audits as well. Make sure that... Um, I know they had like a Wendy's on it on the menu, making sure the menu is okay and all that. But basically what it is is people paying you through a field agent to see if their products are good, get reviews, see if the stores are doing everything they're supposed to be doing. I spy, make sure that all the produce and stuff and, and products inside of a store are in good condition through, for, fo, through photos. It's kind of a pain in the butt though, you got to take like four or six photos but it'll tell you how far it is on the map. And scavenger hunts are kind of cool because you can, you don't even have to go in the store. If you bought the item, you can review it and get paid for it. Um, and see, $6.50 for an item, gift decoration. And you got to look for these UPC numbers, which is kind of a pain. And I wish that they would show photos of the items you were looking for, kind of like Instacart. But it's nothing like that. You gotta actually look for the UPC and be kind of lucky and go like, oh, okay. And sometimes, um, you know, it can be a little obscure what the item is. Yeah, I'm working next to this app. And then QMe2 is also a good one. Uh, get paid to do free surveys. I just barely started it, but. They actually tell you the cash amount. There's no like coins or anything like that, and, like swags bucks or anything like that. They'll actually tell you. So you can actually wait in between jobs doing these jobs and do surveys and get money doing it. But, you know, since you're probably going to make less than $600 a year taking the surveys, I would just put it in a normal bank account and not worry about withholding taxes because. As long as the money you make from any of these apps is under $600, you don't have to worry about taxes. Um, there's also Receipt Hog. You can get money just by scanning receipts. Yeah, and um, you see, see all the receipts I've gotten right here. And I'll go back. But I made redeem 440 points. You can redeem them for cash. But uh, it takes a lot of cat, a lot of coins. Like a thousand coins is a th five dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty nine hundred. You see, and you can do also Visa, PayPal. But yeah, just get free money by scanning your receipts, and you get up to different levels, and you make more money doing that that way. And then also there's Stride. Stride's important because you get to be take track of your mileage when you're doing like gigs or whatever and I've been doing that and actually tells you the amount tax withholding amount that you'll be taking overall so I already made twenty six fifty six dollars in miles deductions all together forty seven point four two miles is the last thing I drove for this week it says and it's really simple you just hit the plus button it says start driving or you can even add like an expense like a receipt for gas or something like that or anything for your vehicle and deduct do your tax deductions that way if if you don't want the start standard miles mileage deduction but the mileage deduction is better and they also uh, give you like insurance that's what they advertise which is kind of annoying but you know when you're a gig worker and if that's your only source of income that's very important <laughs> Because you don't have an employer to give you any benefits. Um, and also, the Get, Get Upside app is nice too. Because if you're doing like this kind of work, and I, I just been using all these apps together to like maximize the amount of money I do for like uh, Instacart, DoorDash, those kinds of jobs. So all these working together can make you quite a bit of money. Um, you can save like 12 cents a gallon. Right here and there. Of course, I live in puny little Durango, but we'll check Farmington, Mexico. Of course, they, it probably won't be much better, but if we try to maybe Albuquerque or something, I bet we could find better deals. But they also have deals on restaurants, groceries, uh, convenience stores as well, I guess, but I never really tried it. But uh, how it works is, yeah, you'll save that certain amount of money 
you know, put your debit card information in or whatever, and it will know that, okay, you, you did use it, and you'll get reimbursed $2 something cents, and you can um, get a gift card with that money as a rebate for the gas station you used. And, of course, it adds up. Um, what else do I got? Yeah, those are, those are all my apps that I'm using for free to make extra side money. All right. Well, have a good day. I hope this is useful.